we finally got you. What's poppin'? What's poppin'? <laughs> Deli Bow, Sucker Dick, and Pimpin' Hoes. Let's go. Sacramento Bay Area. You know, you know, you know. Listen, I want to let you know that I am super grateful and thankful that you did this interview with me because I've been trying to get you for a while, okay? Because you are so talented. Thank you so much. Man. Yeah, you so much. you're doing your thing. So we got to get into some things now that we I have you in person. Um, I just want to just jump right into it. Like, Let's get into it. Who is Deli Bo? Like, where where did this dude come from? Like, what happened? Like, how long you been rapping? Uh, I've been rapping for like maybe like four years now. I think like four years, four five years now. How old are you? You couldn't be like you're like twenty, eighteen. Yeah, I'm only twenty. And you bad like this? Oh lord. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, so you've been in? You was rapping in high school? Yes, I was rapping in high school. I've always been like into anything entertainment i was a dancer first then i started singing then i started rapping and you know rapping just stuck with me yeah and you are actually really really talented like you to me i feel like you can out rap a lot of these straight guys out here thank like you, you're you. that good um so you're also bisexual or gay i'm bisexual i like vaginal holes i like holes in general <laughs> <laughs> you I mean hoes are good. Hoes are good. Okay. So how long have you you've been gay this whole time or did is this a is this just a persona or Well, I'm 50% gay. Okay. So like uh I like I like girl shit. If it's, if it's hard, then it's hard. Shit, that's what I that's what I say. That's my slogan. Shit, if my shit hard, then it's hard, bitch. Do what you gotta do with it. Shit. Right. And and so you just like, well, let me just throw that type of stuff in the music. Yeah, it's me. Yeah. You got to be, you know, authentic with your music or else, you know, nobody can relate to it or, you know, feel it. Shit, you got to be authentic. Yeah, because I remember one video that actually I found you on. It went viral. It had like over two million views. was like bisexual problems. Yeah. Like that was the one where I'm like, wait, who the fuck is this kid? And it was a lot of controversy. It was all over the blogs. You were getting dragged and people loved you. Like, tell me about that that concept. What made you even shoot that video? Bro. What was that? I had no idea that that was going to be the one to take me there. Like, I didn't know that was going to be the one to get me viral. So I remember I was on the phone with my friend and I was rapping it to her. And she was like, bitch, that's some off the wall ass shit. Like, yeah. you put that out, they're going to they're gonna eat it up. So I remember I did the video in my room first, and then that went viral, and then I ended up doing the music video, and it all just went viral all together. Well, we got to talk about it. For those that didn't see the video, like what you literally had a guy and a girl like shaking ass and talking about sucking dick and eating pussy. Yeah, I think I was like 17 too at that time. <laughs> Are you serious? Okay, so listen. So of course you have obviously you know you have parents. So what what do they say? Like are are they like wow? Like this is a bit much. See, like my mom don't really go on social media like that. So I think like everybody else had told her, and then that's when she's seen it. But like at first when the heat was like on it, she didn't really like see it at first because she don't really be on social yeah. media like that. But now. Um, now she supports it 100%. Now she knows that, like, that's not my brand 100%. She know I really, I'm a, I could rap rap for real, mm -hmm. for real, not even about no bisexual shit or no gay shit at all. I really could, you know, bar shit out the dome. So, like, um, she, she supports it now. She knows that it's not a gimmick. Like, I really, that's really me. Like, she knows. Yeah. And, and what about your dad? Uh, my dad is deported, right? And I don't really talk to him like that. So. Okay, so he, are you mixed? Are you? Yeah, I'm from Belize. Oh wow. Okay, so he he's in Belize. So you don't. Yeah. Okay, so wow, that's interesting to know. Okay, so cool. So your parents, so your mom's cool with it now. Yeah, my mom's cool with it now. She supports it 100. percent She loves it. Well, that's cool. Are you in a relationship? Um. Yes, I am in a relationship. Okay. Yes. What? How long have you been in a relationship? For a good. Seven, eight years. Oh, wait. So how, wait, how old are you again? I'm 20. Okay, so you've been in a relationship since you've been like, what? Is that 10, 12? Like, mm, shit, like 14. 14? Like, yeah, my math it's is so, ter terrible. It's the, first, <laughs> it's the first guy that I've ever talked to, like, in my life, and he's still in my life. So. Yeah. Now, is he, like, older than you, same age? He's older than me, yeah. Okay. And, you know, and obviously, how does he feel about the music? Is he like, oh, my gosh, like, you're getting famous on me? He or? hates it. Oh, he, he does? He, he doesn't hate the music part. He just hates the attention that I get from, you know, other 
gay males and you know shit like that he just does not like other guys all over me but like the shit i talk about like of course they gonna want to see if my shit popping like that like they gonna want to they gonna want to know so he just hates that part about it but overall he he fuck with it he can't wait till i you know blossom yeah because you you have to kind of post the risque uh the 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 booty photos the body photos i got to that's me i'm i, I blew up off bisexual problems so shit i'm a i'm a you know so my body, I'm a sex. Talk what was guy. the uh 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 was the sex talk you did? Uh yeah. and you had the Megan the Stallion on. Oh <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. How was how did that video come about? Um the video came about um the people who had founded me from the video, um, they wanted to do a music video to it. So I was like, let's do it. And we ended up having to change the beat because it was copyrighted for, you know, the original yeah. sex talk, you know, beat. So we changed the beat or whatnot, and I redid the song, and we did a music video to it, and it was pretty dope. I yeah, I, I liked it, too. Um, one thing, uh, though, on your come up that I noticed, because I had been following you through one of our mutual friends, you may not know, um, his name is Charles, Exclusive Visions, makes music videos oh, and things yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so he actually told me about you as well. But um, one thing, I would he would always hit me up and like, Delhi's losing his, in his Instagram again. He's lost his Instagram. So through this whole process of you kind of trying to level up and come up like you were losing your Instagram and at one point you had lost your Instagram at one of the biggest moments of my career ever um tell me about that I just was I I'm I'm still just baffled about it like bro if I would have never lost no Instagram at all which is what it be which is what we does right now but like I was just losing my shit back to back to back to back every time I would go viral from bisexual problems or from sex talk they'll just delete my page and this page that I have right now is the page that you know has been up for the longest so um I don't know just I don't know why they was deleting me maybe I was too sexual but I don't feel like I've changed much I don't mm -hmm. know so and I'm verified and all the other stuff yeah now did that come after sex talk with viral on tiktok i think so because that's when that was your second surge what was it i don't suck i can't, can't take big dick but i suck on it I ain't fucking, that's true that is what happened because i watched it and i'm like you know this dude is out of here because you have white girls asian girls everybody doing it and you shot up on tiktok something crazy but the thing about you though what i thought was always so interesting like your numbers on every time you got it, your Instagram was deleted. You get a damn near a hundred thousand uh, followers in the next day. Like they would just take you down, and you get like forty thousand. Like you were hot, and you still are. And then that TikTok thing happened, and then before you knew it, I seen you so doing something with Issa Rae. What what's going on with Issa Rae? Um, I met Issa Rae a long time ago. I think before uh, can't take big dick okay. back on it, and um. Somebody had reached out to me and flew me to L.A. Yes. And was like, and they pulled out a wad of money, like, right there and was like, get used to this lifestyle, like, you a star. Like, and I was just like, oh, when I landed, I was just like, bet. So the guy, his name is Bononi. Um, the guy ended up taking me to go see Easter Ray, and she was just, like, asking me, like, what do you feel like you need, like, to become who you're supposed to be? Like, wow. what do you feel like you need? And I was just like, Really? Honestly, shit, I'm not going to sit here and, and act like, shit, I really just need consistent within myself, and I will get there. And she's just like, I love that. Like, you are you are it. So, wait, she just seen you and flew you out or just yes. to? She seen me on Twitter. She saw, like, all my videos on Twitter, and I was raunchier then. Like, I used to, yeah. like, I used to do the most. So, um, I was surprised that I even got to meet a Vanguard award-winning actress like and then you got a lot of money how much money was it it was just for me to you know stay out there for the days that i was out there because i was a minor still like okay so yeah i was it was just like for you to like you know get whatever i wanted shit, shit. that I is crazy I just shit. Fuck it. I just like, <laughs> it's that. and what did your mom say then did you call her like mom I, this is crazy she, she was proud like she was just like keep it going like just keep going at first she didn't mess with it she was just like you know this is too much, but now she's like, do it, do it, all, do all you can. 
shit. Put yeah. Steroids on it. Shit. Yeah. And you should. And and so then I seen something like, a, you know, I was flying around your page one day and you had posted something with Warner Brothers Atlantic Records. So yeah. did you sign a record deal with Atlantic? Uh, No, I was songwriting for, I signed to songwrite for some of their artists. Can't say that name. Those oh, names, so you're a writer too. Yeah, I'm a writer for a female artist. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Who? Oh, you can't. Obviously, you can't say that. Oh, but so you got a big bag for that. Yeah. Still. And you're still getting bags for that. Any number ones that you've written or? Can't speak. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. And so, do you want to be? Are you signed to any labels or? Uh, right now, I'm just gonna continue. You know, indie as an indie artist, cause okay. I see a lot of fuck shit all the time that makes me not even want to be a part of certain things anymore. That's why I'm so comfortable in the songwriting, you know, zone mm-hmm. right now because shit just be lame. Like nowadays, shit be lame. Hip hop and other things ain't how it used to be when I first started. Now it's a lot of shit bullshit going on. Shit, no, nobody gotta really rap no more, or even do anything anymore. Shit, if you're likable, then. We're gonna put you on. If you got fans, we're gonna put you on, and you could be famous forever, type shit. Like, but I think that you have that because I've also noticed that you've been at in LA often at the little, with the TikTokers. So mm-hmm. you've I, I literally thought you were signed. I was like, okay, they're trying to make him like a white boy. Like they're trying to make him, you know, t- marketable, mainstream. So like, mm-hmm. how did you get into the TikTok house and with the rich white TikTokers and the Teslas and? Oh, no. Those are my managers. I live there. That's my house. Okay, so you live in L.A. then? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So so you're a part of... So then how did you? How did that come about? Um, They found me for, um, from... Uh, I did a freestyle on a guy's beat, which is my manager now. And I did a freestyle on his beat, and he was like, oh, my God, I love this. What do we, we got to link up and do music together. At this time, I'm looking at his page like, who the hell is this? Like, I'm not finna just go see this man. I don't know this man at all. He like, dude, you got to come do music with me and my girlfriend, blase, blase, blase. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to see what's popping. After a while, I finally was like, I'm going to go see what's popping. So I took the Greyhound all the way to L.A., not knowing this guy at all from a can of paint. And I got there. He was in his Tesla. Doors flew up. I said, oh, bet. It's that. He took me to his house, and I've been living there ever since, making music. And and you love it. So so you live in L.A., so you're only here part-time. Yeah, part-time for my family and shit. You know, I gotta. I, I just love the ghetto, so I, I just got to be here. Got to be. <laughs> <laughs> I got to be here. I got to. So when did, when did you move to L.A.? Um, like... Mm, during Can't Tell You What It's Like On At Times. Okay. Like right there. So, okay, so tell me about, okay, well, okay, this is something I want to know. Tell me about the, the 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 persona of, like, the wigs, the feminine, and then the boy. Is that, is, like? That's Deli Bo. Okay. Yeah, that's de- that's definitely Deli Bo. I, I Are you show... comfortable being feminine? Because I kind of always pictured you as more of a masculine figure. I, I, I... I am more of a masculine figure, but just like <laughs> any other, just like all of us, we yeah. all have our feminine times, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And I just like to show that within my music, like, nigga, shit, sometimes we want to feel like that bitch. Sometimes yeah. we are that bitch in the shower or when a Beyonce is playing or this, that, and the third. Yeah. Like, you know, it's fun to, to sometimes be that feminine character shit with the makeup on. Sometimes it's fun, and it is fun, shit. We all have that within us. Yeah. All of, all of, all of our gay mans, we all have that. We do. And, you know, I like that because that's real. You know, we all of us have a feminine side to us, so we should embrace every aspect of it. Of yourself. Yeah. Yes, that's that's honestly what it is. And I like to show up for every aspect of the LGBT community. Wow, um, I love so that. That's why I do that, shit. I'm going to, you know, you know, pop something for the for the feminine gays and for my little trans woman they finna feel this too you know yeah popping do you feel like that will hinder you no okay i see people doing it right now yeah okay um and 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 here's the thing uh i i really like the relationship that you and kid can have now i thought you guys were dating are you guys are you just like girlfriend sisters besties like how did that relationship happen because i love him too uh yeah that's like my best friend uh we hit it off as soon as we met. The first day that we met, we went viral together. So it was like, we were talking about it. We were like, bro, we got to be the biggest in the industry. Like, we got to do it 
we did a freestyle video and went viral same day yeah so like and we've been friends ever since so how did you meet him um through instagram he had t uh texted me on instagram and was like what's up like i'm in la now like what's popping and okay I was like bet i'm gonna pull up and i pulled up and it was that it was magic right there and you guys do a lot of music together yes we have a mixtape coming guys we have a everything coming shit just really be prepared for it so what 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 do you what do you think when people try to pitch you guys against each other um i feel like i don't know it doesn't it doesn't really make me feel no type of way yeah do you ever feel like, you know, at, have you guys ever had a conversation where it's like, bitch, no matter how big we get, like, girl, like, we're not going to beef? Yeah, we're not going to. Have you, like, that. have you guys had that conversation? We always have that conversation. Okay. And there's, and I, I, do, I believe that we're not going to beef. Yeah. It's like, you know, we definitely are locked in. Yeah. And I like that. I love that you guys have that, you know, and I kind of when I see you guys, I'm like, OK, look, you you could be like the boyfriend. He could be the girlfriend. You know what I mean? But that's what <laughs> I feel like within the music as well. Yeah. So when people put us against each other, I'm like, bro, y'all have two different styles. Exactly. I'm really I'm really, you know, I'm like a I'm like a hood rapper. He makes songs for the girls. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's going to eat it up for the girls. I still like just for like Santana and, you know, so on and so forth. Like he's going to eat it up for the girls. I'm going to eat it up for my little, you know, my hood package for real, for real. Yeah. And so, speaking of that, who are some of your favorite rappers that you look up to, gay and straight? Um, Lil Wayne, Nicki Minaj, um, Eminem. I like Busta Rhymes, Ludacris. Them are all like my, you know, Missy Elliott. Mm, I love Missy Elliott. All like my big like, you know, they were visually just like. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! You know the bus rounds and the little Chris and the Missy Elliott. They were visually like, oh my God, and very animated, and you know, and that's why uh, I like Busta Rhymes too, cause the the bars and the, he just spit so crazy. Like all of them, shit. Every single body that I just named right now, them was that's it, shit. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> that no, I I love all of that. Speaking of that, um, you have a very distinct rap style. It's almost kind of like. Like I would guess, how would you describe it? Cause it's it's not it's like kind of like in your face. Yeah, I don't know how to describe it. I don't know. I don't know. Deli Bo and Wendell are two different people, guys. Deli Bo just be on some shit. Okay. You know, the regular me, I just be chilling. Even I be shocked at Deli Bo. I be like, damn, nigga, why the fuck you just get spaz like that? Like, mm -hmm. damn. Um, I think it's lit though. I don't know. I think Deli Bo is lit. He's lit. Yeah. <laughs> What did you think about um, as a gay person um, and or bisexual? I was finna correct you. <laughs> I know, I know, I got it. As a bisexual person, a member of the LGBT in our community in hip hop, what did you think about uh, Little Nas X and Montero and him riding the pole down the hill and dancing with the devil? You know, he got a lot of backlash behind that. So, what do you think about that? Mm, it was brave. That's what I can say. I think that's what I all I can say right now about it. It was brave. It was courageous. Um, shit. Um, shit. Welcome. Welcome to getting yeah. talked about. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> welcome. Yeah. That's all I really can say. Shit. Welcome. Would you do a collab with them? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think that'd be nice. What about absolutely. Saucy Santana? I could see absolutely. that too. Absolutely. I like that. You guys will do good together. I feel like. I like them both. I yeah. Like them both a lot. So. Yeah, I think that'd be really cool. Cause I they're they're really I mean, I feel like you like Saucy, Lil Nas X, Kicking, like you guys are like hot. I like I like all you guys. So um Yeah, and I'm trying to think if there anything else I need to know. Oh, Delhi's World dropped. Yeah, Tell me Delbo's about that World. project. Um, Delbo's World, um God, this was like my first uh, project putting it through a, a distribution, you know, a distribution deal with Equity. So this was my first project. You know, it looks all different than everything else. You see it? it yeah, it looks different. good. Um, um, they even had you have a little layout on Spotify when it first okay. came out. They had, they got me there. <laughs> they, they, they got it looked good there. Um, I just wanted to talk my shit a little bit. This one is just for fun. I feel like this one was just you know, for fun. You know what I'm saying? This one's for fun. Tell my serious shit really, really pop off. Like, I'm in the studio now getting ready for my next shit. So, mm -hmm. this is just for fun, you know. You guys eat this shit up. You know, I'm having fun, you know. Letting you guys know I'm 
on my way. That's what it is. And it's I think this was a moment for you, like after talking to you, like this was a consistent moment for you. You got serious with it and you you dropped it, you dropped your project. So I think that that's really, really dope. Um, it's how many songs? I don't even know. <laughs> like seven. It's like seven songs, 15 minutes, 14 minutes. And so, yeah, that's sorry. I got to correct it. Delbo's World. Mm, I said Del- yeah, Delbo's World. World. Yeah. So um, that's out everywhere now yes, on all streaming. Everywhere. You guys go stream it. You guys go do your thing ASAP. Any, uh, any, because I know you have a video out for um, Delbo's World. Delbo's World. Yeah. yeah. Any other ones coming out? Yes. Uh, I want to see some will be remixed with Ken on it, Stunner Girl, oh. and Pee Pee Cocaine. So. And we're doing a video for that, so you guys get ready for that. Well, that's going to be exciting, and the people are going to go up. They're going to eat it up, yeah. I can't wait for that one. Um, And you know what? Honestly, I kind of feel like we got to know. Is there anything else you feel like I didn't get to that you that you need to let people know or you think is very important? Um, no. I are you sure? Not. I think they know. Shit, I think motherfuckers who know me, they know what's popping over here. Because we got into all of your business. I mean, the mom, the, okay, so we got, so the last thing that we'll, we need to get into, you know, I mean, it wouldn't be right if we didn't do that. Like, you feel me? So we need to get a little freestyle. Okay. Okay, I I, I think, I want to, I want to, I want to make sure you can hear this. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna test this out. I'm so glad that you said okay. You know, cause it went. You can you can't come up here like I'm writing for Atlantic and I'm a rapper, the rapper, and then not freestyle. You know, the people gonna be like, bitch, where's the bars? But all right, so let's get into some things. Uh, let me see if we can get a little beat going. Let me see what we got. Um, let me see if we can hear this. Let's see. You let me know when you can hear it in your microphone. I can. Can you hear it still? I can hear myself a little bit. Uh, okay, try it again. Yo, oh yeah, I can hear myself now. I right, start over. Okay. From the beginning, I'll start from the beginning. I chew them up to spit these bitches out They wasn't fucking with me damn But now I'm up The birds flocking now I know they probably think I'm cocky now I know you see who number one To run the game And you forgotten how I'm on the jet My speed bumper cloud And everything come out your mouth Is fucking cap You know I got the crown I'm hot sauce in all you bitches mouth And I'll drip on this bitch right now Motherfucker drown And don't forget I got the shit to make you move tonight And once you see me She go weak cause I'm a crypt tonight You walk home but you ain't no Uber Ain't no lit tonight Get it right I'm just trying to see where your shit hidden like What is hidden like bitch What is hidden like what is hell like, bitch? What is hell like? And you said you ain't gonna do it now, you probably might. Hey, <laughs> what is hell like? Move fast, you nigga just won't last. You a crash, little dummy can fuck with your broke ass. I right, from my own woods, I hit it in no path. They be mad cause I'm mean, I'm stuck in my own bag, bitch. Speak facts when it comes to this. Deli fire, but you really match your match when it comes to this. Somebody tell them who they fucking with. I'm a bad bitch, hella ducks, but you clucking with. In the past where I left them, I'm on a ass and I'm ripping up they wrecked them. I'ma get creative in this. Bitch, I'ma direct them to my big chopper, let it blow in the protection. Bitch, these niggas better learn their lesson. I got the weapon, pussy boy, but this 40 blade on chest there. Oh Lord, God bless him. I have you digging up that dirt in the grave is where I left him, bitch. Ain't nobody out here checking me. You niggas plankton here, y'all trying to steal the recipe. Bitch, it's EBK, you ain't gotta be respecting me. I'll never love a bitch, and you will never get the best in me. Bitch, what is him like? Bitch, what is him like? What is him like? Bitch, what is him like? And you said you ain't gonna do it now, you probably might. <laughs> Yo, what is hell like? <laughs> okay. In the mix. mix. Lord, 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 Lord. this freak of nature? With DJ Armand. Wow. Yes. Okay. That's, you did what needed to be done. Okay. I'm here for it. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Fire in the booth. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, so Deli Bo, Pippin' Hoes, Suckin' Dick and Pippin' Hoes, Deli, Del Bo's World out now. Out now, let's do it. That's thank you it. for coming in, sir. 
Thank you. All right, that's a wrap. <laughs>